the, the mistake that many of us make is that so long as I'm getting something Islamic, that's good. The problem with that is you'll hear 20 years of something Islamic and we'll learn nothing because you're just all over the place. It's just, it's just random stuff. Increase our attention span because in order to study Quran, right. we need to study for some time. I realized I could read four or five pages. But now after two pages, I think, you know, I feel that attention span is really reducing, yeah. even in my life. And for young generation, that is more prominent. So I would ask your um, kind of uh, wisdom on, on how do we increase our attention span. Okay. I mean, I can give a long answer to that, but the short answer is long form content. I think, okay, if you can't pay attention to reading too much, then at the very least start listening to longer materials. Like I know in my generation, the 1830s, when we were consuming Islamic materials, we were getting cassette tapes. That's how old I am. But you'd get, you wouldn't get one cassette tape. You get a set of them and you'd listen to 40, 50 hours of something, right? Uh, like, so the Arabs here, are used to listening to Sheikh Sha'rawi, for example, Rahimahullah, and they've heard hundreds of hours of him. Like I grew up, you know, in my young college years, I was listening to dozens and dozens and dozens, actually hundreds of hours of Dr. Asar Ahmed, for example, right? Or Dr. Jamal Badawi, for example. Uh, but now when I ask younger generations, how do you get your Islam? They just say YouTube. And YouTube is essentially short form or randomized content, right? It's an algorithm. So. My, my first suggestion is systematic learning. Even if it's casual learning, it's continuous, right? It's a long series that you're, you're consuming. So you, you decide what subject you want to learn and you kind of ignore all the other subjects. My, my advice to anybody who wants to study Islam on their own seriously, there's one thing if you're going to a madrasa or you're going to an Islamic university, that's fine, that's different. But the average Muslim is not going to do that, right? So what, what about the rest of us? The rest of us, the, the mistake that many of us make is that so long as I'm getting something Islamic, that's good. The problem with that is you'll hear 20 years of something Islamic and we'll learn nothing because you're just all over the place. It's just, it's just random stuff. Um, but if you decide, okay, this year, I'm just going to learn as much as I can about Surah Al-Baqarah, for example. Or this year, I'm just going to dedicate some time to learn about the seed of the Prophet or something like that. You identify one thing that you want to know more about within Islam. There's always going to be a thousand things you'll be ignorant of. And you have to become comfortable with your ignorance. If you can become comfortable with your ignorance, you'll be fine. <laughs> right? So I'm studying something right now. I know there's a, there's a bucket list of things I don't know for myself. But I, I'm comfortable ignoring all of it and saying, I will remain ignorant of those things because right now I need to know this. But that, that, it's, that, it's that strange distraction, you know, too much, of a, too much of a good thing is a bad thing, right? You've got this good thing, this good thing, this good thing, this good thing, and you're just picking from everything and you're not really getting anything in the end. So that would be my advice for developing not just attention span, but also really educating yourself over time. Inshallah. Thank you, thank you.